Hey guys, uh, welcome back again. I hope uh, you did not find any difficulties when you are trying to install the Raspberry Pi OS and I hope you are all set to go for the first project. So before getting into the projects, I would like you to tell some instructions for the breadboard and your Raspberry Pi so that you won't mess it up while uh, uh, placing the pins in the circuit. So the first instruction is to never forget to uh, remove the power supply before ch changing the circuit even if you at least want to change a one pin on the breadboard never forget to first shut down the raspberry pi from vnc or if you are not using vnc you are just using terminal then uh, you have to use a command called sudo shutdown so it will directly shut down the pi then it the yellow light will turn into red and then you can remove the power supply and then uh, see the breadboard connections the extreme two ends are uh, vertically shorted and the middle two rectangle boxes are uh, horizontally shorted uh, all, and they also have some gap between them so the middle ones uh, they are not completely shorted like the extreme ones the extreme ones even have uh, some gap between them but they are still uh, total connected but the middle ones are not like that they are horizontally connected and they have some gap between them so when you are first building a circuit with the breadboard if it's your first time then um, you may uh, confuse a little bit but uh, i'll tell you some uh, tricks and uh, tips so that you won't confuse when uh, you are figuring out your circuit with the breadboard and then when you turn on your pi just wait for the yellow light to become stable before connecting to SSH otherwise it will give you an error message saying that the server is busy or the IP address is busy or something like that again you won't be able to connect your Pi easily and you have to reboot it again and again and then connect it so wait, wait for at least 1 minute or 30 seconds after turning on your Pi Yeah, uh, the first step I would like to give you is uh, draw a circuit diagram before making the connections on the breadboard. So it will become easier. Uh, draw a ground, a common ground. Common ground is always necessary. We will consider it as a negative leg or the negative connection. The ground would be negative. So make the common ground. Take all the phase wires to the uh, GPIOs. GPIOs is nothing but general port input output. So this uh, pins will be in Raspberry, Arduino and all other microcontrollers. So I will tell you how to connect it to the uh, Raspberry Pi and how to draw the circuit diagram. So GPIOs, I would like to give some uh, GPIOs introduction. So GPIO 0 is a Python library for controlling GPIO pins on the devices like Raspberry uh, Pi, especially Raspberry Pi 5th model. Uh, it simplifies the process of interacting with hardware components making it ideal for both beginners and experienced programs before uh, with the rpi gpio that with that package we used to write a lot of code to just turn an led on but gpio 0 is a simple code which is developed uh, by some python developers so they uh, simplified us, uh, they simplified our uh, job and uh, they have introduced some uh, LED button, all these functions in this uh, GPIO 0 package. So the key concepts you should know is about uh, GPIO pins and library extraction. I'll tell you about GPIO pins when we are uh, making the connections. And library extraction is just uh, you use the import command import uh, gpio dot uh, z I mean gpio zero not uh, any dot in between gpio zero. So we'll import specific components from that package like uh, we say uh, from gpio zero import LED button or motion sensor or whatever you like. So we'll move ahead. So this is the preview of your uh, first project that you are gonna build. So I'll be giving you the circuit diagrams like this before uh, we build circuit. Uh, keep this video clarity in HD so that uh, you won't miss out any pins over here. 
so see this uh, connections very carefully it's a simple circuit so i guess you can figure it out so as i said uh, we'll be using only the one second uh, we'll be uh, only using the inner part of the raspberry pi for the most of the time so for the ground connections we'll be using uh, this port uh, fifth from the top one two three four five yeah this is also a ground so you can even connect here but for our simplicity we'll always take the inner part of the raspberry pi okay and uh, as you see uh, i have not connected to any power supply here to make sure uh, the raspberry pi will become stable after turning on and the circuit won't be disturbed yeah so these are first code for the first project so we'll just start by turning an led on so this was the package i was talking about i'll tell you in detail uh, later about this package and uh, we'll also import a command called sleep from a package called time and then we'll try to turn on the led with raspberry pi so yeah let's get started with uh, building the circuit first uh, as i said draw your circuit and then build it on the breadboard so first we'll take an led as an example and then we have uh, two kinds of legs on led one shorter and one longer one so shorter one will go to the ground and the longer one will be connected to a resistor and then carry it forward to gpio number 17 on your pi so we can choose any resistor which is above 330 ohms or uh, it is ideal if you choose 1 kilo ohm ideal resistor okay and uh, i'll also give you the color codes of this resistor so if you don't if you have some resistors and you don't know whether it is a 1 kilo ohm or 330 kilo ohm i'll give you some uh, color codes a uh, chart table so that you can identify what is the value of your resistor okay so this is the basic circuit of your first project and then like this uh, we'll construct all other circuits and then carry forward this to the raspberry pi and your breadboard yeah this is the color code chart of the uh, resistor band colors so listen carefully so you might confuse when you are uh, dealing with the direction of the resistor so if you take a resistor which is like this and uh, you can see it from either side you can read it from here or here you may think like that but it's absolutely wrong so first identify the tolerance so maximum of the resistors will have tolerance of either silver or gold so these are the tolerances colors uh, where max of the resistors will have so start from the opposite side of the tolerance so if your tolerance band is here if it is either a silver or gold start reading and taking the values of the colors from this side if your tolerance is here okay so now if uh, there are two types of resistors i mean there are obviously uh, three types four band uh, 3 band and 5 band these are nothing but uh, 
color codes pattern so this chart will give you a brief of four band code and five band code so the first band will be on the extreme side and the second band third band will be here and then this is for the four band uh, resistor if you have a three band then uh, you won't have one of this okay so if you have a five band which will look something like this so one here on the extreme end and uh, one two three colors here and one on the other extreme end which is giving you the value of tolerance so start taking the numbers from here so how to take the numbers okay so if, if your first band is of uh, let's say yellow color so first is yellow so the value of yellow is 4 okay the value of yellow is 4 so write 4 and then if uh, suppose the second band is orange so orange is here so value of orange is 3 okay and uh, the third one is uh, violet so violet is 7 and uh, if this is a 3 band and if it is given into 10 multiplier or wait if the second one is orange and uh, the third band if we take a four band four band resistor the third one will be multiplier okay so yeah the third one will be multiplier so third one we have decided it was a violet so violet will give you 10 mega ohms so yeah 43 into 10 mega ohms mega is of capital letter and the last one will give you tolerance uh, plus or minus let's say if it is having a gold one gold then plus or minus five percent if we are having a four band resistor if it was a five band resistor the fourth color band will give you the multiplier and the fifth one will give you the tolerance okay so this is how you find the value of the resistor using color code chart now let's get started with uh, building the circuit and uh, coding it on the raspberry pi os so i can show you how to build the circuit by hand step by step because i've shown you all the previews all the circuit diagrams and everything so if you want to see the circuit again and then build it just go back and then pause the video there and then you can see that here before turning on your raspberry pi just build your circuit completely check it twice and then connect it to the power supply and then turn it on and then follow the same steps go to the angry ip scanner make sure that your pc and your raspberry pi are connected to the same wi-fi network and then start uh, start the ip scanning and then you will get something like this pi dot local or your raspberry pi with your custom host name dot local and copy this ip address go to the vnc viewer type that ip address enter your username and password connect it and then your vnc viewer will open and then click on the raspberry pi symbol it will be on the top if you did not customize your settings it will be on the top go there click on programming and come to thorny editor and now in here click a new project or it will automatically give you one and then you click on save uh, give a custom name to your project let's say led project and then end the name with dot py extension so that you are telling the compiler to save the file with the py extension which is a python file and now let's say this is our code what will you feel see 
this much of uh, hazel code where it is used to just turn on an led this was used to blink an led with gpi od package earlier this will work on raspberry pi 5 but you have to write this much of code with gpi od package instead we will use much easier package named gpio 0 so we are going to import specific things from that package okay and now these are the packages we need for this project and uh, create a variable name led and then see this led function will have all the commands to turn the led on so you just have to type that and configure it with your gpio so give the number the number which the led is connected to whether it might be 17 6 2 anything so in the preview and in the circuit diagram we have connected it to 17 so i have returned 17 there and now let's write an infinite loop so remember most of the cases uh, all the embedded systems will be running on an infinite loop for infinite amount of time so that's why we, have, we will design the embedded systems with low power consumption low memory and uh, the fragmentation will be also less in the systems so all these matters when you design an embedded dot chip so now let us turn on the led I'll explain the code again, don't worry. So yeah, this is a while and uh, when we are setting the loop to a value of 1, where true is a boolean indicating the value of 1. So LED dot on, which is saying the LED which is connected to the 17th of GPIO port, we'll turn it on and then we'll keep it like that for one second and then turn the LED off for one second. Okay. So with this code, your LED will blink for just one second. You can repeat this block of code again, so this block of code again and then turn your led once more on okay so this is the starter one let's also build some more complicated ones let's also build a traffic signal a distance sensor a rotatory sensor a motion capture sensor and if you have a camera i will also give you some code and the preview diagrams to build with that also so let's get started yeah before moving ahead, I would like to end this video here because it will be too lengthy again if I continue with more projects. So these are some previews of upcoming projects. So the middle is the motion sensor one and to the left is a button. So when you click that button, the Python will execute some kind of function. You will define a function as well. And to the right, you can blink the LED with the button and also you can give that uh, button a function so that the Python will execute some function when you press that button. So these are some upcoming projects and see you there. Until then, signing off.